Why? No, tell me why are you keeping it? You've been in this situation for two months and I've been the one taking care of you. Have I ever complained? No. But this is one thing I have asked of you severally and it seems impossible for you to do it. How do you think it makes me feel sitting back and watch strangers run the company? How? Babe, please you need to stop getting angry. I am not holding back because I want to deny or make you feel bad. I just need you to understand that- I don't understand anything anymore. I don't understand anything. And I'm tired of all your excuses. Eh? What is so wrong in allowing your husband, the same man you found on the altar to become one with, take care of business while you're recovering? What? Look, babe, I need you to understand how weak and incompetent it makes me feel sitting back and watch outsiders run my wife's business. Baby, no one can take care of family like family. I need you to understand that this is what we must do to protect what is ours. Babe, I understand what you're trying to say, but... But what again? Eh? Must there always be a but? Look, you know what? Do as you wish, okay? But I need you to know there is limit to what I can take. Remy. Remy, where are you going? But what exactly is the point? Why should I sideline my husband and let others run my business? This is not looking good on him. Is any of them working in the capacity he's asking for? Yes, sir. This is my husband we're talking about here. Why should he get what others are getting? <sighs> Look, Stella, before you made me your legal advisor and attorney, we have been friends for donkey years. And I care about you beyond business. I can only give you good advice. And I'll tell you not to do what he's asking you to do. Look, the effect is going to be so devastating, so don't. What effect is worse than what this is doing in my marriage already? I mean, we are practically living like two strangers in the same house. I know this is about his ego as a man, but I am tired. He desperately wants to prove that he can take care of me and the company. But I am tired of all this drama. Then give him a position in the high rank. Look. You don't have to relinquish your own position in the company just to please him. Look, babe, just think this through. Here are the documents I wanted you to check. The terms are not as steep, but we can still negotiate. I will I'll check them out later. Just <sighs> babe, are we still going to do this again? I am not in the mood. For how long are we going to continue like this? For as long as it takes you to realize that putting our business in the hands of total strangers does not only put it at risk, but it also makes me look incompetent and weak. 
thing. But I'm still in charge. I still make decisions in the company. It is safe with me. Really? On what basis do you make those decisions? On the basis of what you saw and witnessed firsthand? Or what your so-called employees told you? How about having someone on ground to see things the way they are and making informed decisions? Then you accept the position I offered in the company. That way you can oversee things from there. So you want me to work as HR when someone is the finance director and someone else is the marketing director? And you expect me to work under them in the HR department? In a company that's supposed to be my family's business? Thank you so much for the offer. I will pass. Remy, why are you talking like this now? Eh? Why are you making things difficult for me? Why can't you just accept? Why can't you just accept with me? Why? Look, why are you holding on to this? Do you feel like I'm not qualified for this? No, babe. We met in a business meeting. I hope you remember. I read business, administration, and management. Why are you frustrating me like this? I know. It is not like that. Okay? I am not doubting your competency. I only want you to... Look, babe. Can I just sleep? Can you let me do that? If I tell you that I'm not tired of this, then I am lying. For how long am I going to wait by the side knowing that my man is sleeping with another woman every night? Babe, do you even know how that feels? Look, I understand, babe. I understand exactly how you feel. But this is not exactly what we planned, remember? The accident was supposed to be the end of everything. But then, she survived it. Then let's finish this up already. Let's finish it up. Look, babe, you have sent the will and you have confirmed that she will almost everything to you and I. If, if she gets out of the way, either of us can own the company. We are the only family that she has. Babe, let's finish this up already and get rid of all this frustration. Look, there are other ways we can do this without raising suspicion. Slow down, baby girl. Slow down. You don't want to do anything that will lead to an autopsy, okay? So what are we doing now? Are we just going to sit and watch her die a natural death? Of course not. Look, I'm at the verge of casualing her to relieve her position as CEO of the company to me. And once that happens, we don't even have to kill her. We don't have to get our hands dirty. She'll live the rest of her life in misery. Babe, whatever we do, we have to act fast. And whatever we do, she must die. Knowing that she still breathes the same air that I breathe upsets me greatly. She would pay for what her father did to my mother. My love, I understand your anger, okay? And trust me, you will eventually get your revenge. I hope so. I really do hope. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So I, I paid the company for the caregiver. Yeah, I, I think I'm, at this point I'm done taking care of a crippled ass. So I paid for someone to come take care of her, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was also a plan of uh, making us succumb. Hopefully, it will work. 
Don't worry, baby. I know how far we've come. Hmm? We are not gonna fail. Okay? I got you. I'll see you, okay? Bye. Missed you. Missed. Bye. Chris, the caregiver the agency sent. So Chris will be taking care of you whenever I'm around. Hmm? Chris, my wife. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Chris. Welcome. Thank you. Honey, can I see you for a minute? Of course, of course. Uh, Chris, excuse me. I vividly remember telling you that I do not need the services of a caregiver. Please, Remy, take that guy back to wherever you picked him from. I do not need his help or anybody. Look, 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 babe. It is obvious to me that what I thought was us is actually yours alone, okay? I have to hustle, okay? And I can't do that if I have to be here to look after you. And that's exactly why he's here. Just understand that this is coming from a place of love. Love for me? A place of love, you say? God, how did you turn from someone that cared so much about my feelings to a total stranger? Remy, why are you doing this to me? Look, my love, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, okay? I'm only reacting on the ugly reality I just discovered about my life, right? Ever since I met you, I have selflessly invested my time for us. But it seems to me that I'm not good enough to handle the family's greatest assets. So I have to go hustle for something I can call my own. Don't talk like that. You know that is not true. Whatever belongs to me belongs to you as well. Remy, I just want you That's to... That's not true and you know it. Look, there is no love lost here, okay? You're still my adorable wife, alright? Just understand that this is what I must do for us. Hmm? Come, let's not keep Chris waiting. Let's go. Hmm? Three. Where are you going to? I told you about the appointment I have with Affin Max Group, right? So I have to leave early. You know how traffic is. But babe, now, today is Thursday. Have you forgotten we have an appointment with the physiotherapist? Oh. I'm sorry, you didn't even tell me about any appointment. <sighs> um, you know what? Chris will take you, please. I really, really have to be on my way, okay? I don't want to go with Chris now. Babe. Please don't push it. This is really important, okay? Please, Chris will take you, all right?
Ma, please let me help you. Don't you dare! How dare you touch me, let alone come close to me? I'm sorry, ma. I, I was only trying to help. Help your miserable self first. How are you even still in this house? Get out! Get lost! I'm sorry, ma. You see, this is so frustrating. Remy is barely at home. Now what he does is, he goes out in the morning and comes back late at night. I barely see him. This is really tearing my home apart. I love my husband so much. And I feel like I am losing him. You see, I don't want to lose my marriage. Why is this so important to him? Why this sudden obsession to take over the company? He feels he's being sidelined. He wants to be in charge. He wants to take control. He wants to be the one to take the shot while I am incapacitated. I mean, look at now, he's trying to run his own business while I run mine. This is not the kind of marriage I want. This is tearing us apart, can't you see? I really don't understand this though, but what exactly is your plan? What do you plan to do? Tell me exactly, why am I holding on to this? Hmm? What is mine is his. This is really affecting me. I am tired. Look Stella, you need to hang on a little while. Just a little while. I don't think I can hang on any longer. I don't think I can do this. It's just for a while. I have my reasons. Look, he's right about one thing though. You can't be left all alone without caring. This is your condition. It's a good thing he hired that guy though. Really? Yes. Are you blind? Can't you see what my husband is trying to do? This guy is trying to push me away. Okay, now he has delegated all and everything that consigns me to this guy. I just want him out of our life so that I can have Remy all to myself. Stella, you don't need to take this too hard. Life is full of trials, but God is there to see us through. I will advise you become more prayerful. Because with God, we are conquerors. You see, you do not understand. Babe. Yeah. Are you sure it's working? Perfectly. Her situation has tripled. As a matter of fact, she's sliding into depression slowly. I should have done this a long time ago. Then why is she not doing as you're asking? If she is as helpless as you said, then why is she still holding on to that? Look, I've also been wondering, but not to worry, okay? She already has her back against the wall. She's a sitting duck now. Okay. Baby, mm -hmm. how about the pregnancy suspicion? Have you confirmed Baby, it? Baby, she's not pregnant. You know, I gave her some pills that delayed her period, so she thought she was pregnant. You know how desperate she is to have a child. Babe, you need to hasten things, please. Having to torment myself with the thought of what could my man be doing with her every night, it's eating deep into my soul. Babe. Imagine me discussing my man sleeping with another woman and the possibility of her getting pregnant. <sighs> babe, it's tormenting. But babe, you know this woman means nothing to me. You know it. You know it's you I love. And whatever I do with this woman is for both our good. Hmm? Look, I promise you, 
Once this is over, I'll make it up to you in a million ways, okay? Come here. <laughs> Remy, you have a way of calming my worries. Thank you for loving me the way you do. Get that for you. Why are you stressing? Where is Chris? Sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. She won't want me to help her. She wants me never to come close to her. All right, Chris. Thank you. You can go. Oh. Babe, you have to let Chris help you. I thought we already had this discussion. But I don't want anyone to help me except you. I don't even know what he's still doing in this house. Please just let him go. Look, I understand. Okay? But until things get smooth with the family business, I can't leave. And that's why he's here. You have to let him help you. Please. Okay. I must you quit, wait. I miss us. I miss how you make me feel beautiful. I miss how it's just you and I. I don't understand why you will let a stranger take care of me when all I think about is just you alone. Hey, hey. I understand you perfectly, baby. But now, look. I have to make sure the family business is up and running. My presence is needed. Okay? Look, I promise you. Once things stabilize and everything starts running smooth, you'll have me all to yourself, okay? But for now, you're going to let Chris help you. I don't ever want to see you stressing like I met you doing today. Hmm? Have you eaten? I'm not hungry. Ah, come on. Let's go get you something to eat. Come here. I'm going to feed you. Mm -hmm. I will. Hello, sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Ivan, how long has it been? A year, right? Come on, Uncle Remy. It's not even up to two months. Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. You know, I've been wondering why you've been avoiding to come see us now. Give me an ask this girl. <clears throat> Just help me ask her. I didn't run you. It's just that I've been crazily busy, and sometimes I hardly have time for myself. You're not a good sister. You're not even acting like my blood sister. I mean, how can we be in the same state? The same state, oh, and you barely visit me. Why? Ah, uh, Stella. Are you the one saying this? Yes. You that I always call and check up on. Ah. It's not fair, oh. it's not. Irene, calling and visiting are two different things. Sometimes I get to call you and you're busy, you're doing this, you're doing that. I'm even surprised you're coming to visit us today. What made you change your mind? Well, that's because I miss my dear sister. Oh, you miss me. And don't worry. Very soon, I will be bombarding you with visits and you will be the one to ask me to stop coming. I will never. I love, please visit me. I want it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Before you girls add me in your sister's war, mm. Irene, please, what can I offer you? Ah, oh, you're trying to run a deal. Of course, I'm running. <laughs> Irene, what would it be? Uh, something chilled and sweet. Mm. I know just what to bring. I am beginning to lose Remy. He is barely at home. The only reason why he's home today is because it's weekend. He has been working his ass off just to prove something that is not necessary. Then why are you holding on to it? Is there a particular reason why you don't want him to handle it while you recover? There's no particular reason. I mean, I want to. 
but my legal advisor and friend kicked against it. Did he say why and the reason for the advice? She's a woman and she didn't give any particular reason. I mean, I want to, but she strongly kicked against it. How? I mean, Remy is your husband. A lawyer won at that. I don't see how handling the family business to him is a bad decision. And then he have all the academic qualification and probably the expertise. Unless there is something that you are not telling me. So you're saying I should let him have what he wants? I'm saying that you have a good and a loyal husband who loves you genuinely. It is only fair if you reciprocate that love and trust him. Probably that's what he wants. But you can see how far he's willing to go to prove himself to you. Sis, you have a good home. Do not let anything spoil that for you. And besides, you're not going to remain on this wheelchair forever. You see why I always like to talk to you, yet you avoid me like a plague. See how you've put me in track. <laughs> Sis, are we still on that again? I thought I promised I would be coming more frequently. Please, do, do not even beat me up. <laughs> Anyways, I really appreciate your advice. Thank you. You are welcome. Bye. Please let me help you now. Don't if you continue me. like this, you're going to hurt yourself. Don't touch me. Me. Don't touch me! Then sack me! This is what you want. Sack me! So you can do whatever you want to do without tormenting me with your sight. If you ever want to gain the use of your legs, then be ready to accept every help that comes your way. Else, I'm not sure you're gonna make use of these legs again. The choice is yours. Stella, are you sure you want to do this? Look, relinquishing the power of an attorney is, is only advisable if the principal party is incapacitated. And you, my dear friend, you are not incapacitated. Look, you can do anything you want to do with just a little assistance. What you're trying to do right now is giving the entire rights of your company to someone else. And that someone else here is my husband. Someone I trust with my entire life. And yes, I have decided to do this. Okay. There's another way to give him what he wants without handing over everything to him. And in the legal firm, it is called... Um, Use it, stop. 
I've, I've told you, I've decided to do this. I want to do this. So please, let's not drag this any further, I beg. Just prepare the necessary document and let me sign, okay? Okay. That's fine. I just hope you know what you're doing. I will prepare the documents as soon as possible and get it across to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, Please, I'll be waiting. Can you help me onto my wheelchair? I'm so tired. I need rest. Okay. Okay. Wait, where is your caregiver? Are you really asking me that question? You're joking, right? Wow! So you finally decided to trust in my competence after all. See, baby, don't worry. I'm not going to disappoint you, okay? I have never doubted your competence or abilities. Bobby, I hope I did not pressure you into doing something you didn't want to do. Not at all. This is something I should have done a long time ago. I allowed it to just affect no, our no, relationship. No, 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 no. You don't, don't blame yourself, okay? Look, mm -hmm. some changes in life are so difficult to accept. Especially when they make you feel less of who you used to be. Eh? But don't worry, hmm? this is temporal. You'll soon be out of it. And everything will come back normal, okay? Aren't you the sweetest man in the world? Your words are so comforting. I love you, Remy. I love you too, your royal <laughs> sweetness, Stella Igwe Remy Juice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that means that Chris of a guy is leaving, right? <sighs> Come on. Why do you want Chris gone so bad? Can't you see? He's affecting our relationship. He's putting he's putting a hold in our life. Can't you see that? Babe, it's your psychology that's playing fast on you. Okay? Chris is not the enemy. Mm. He's here because we had a rough patch and he's just here to help. Just see him as a normal guy trying to make ends meet, okay? But don't worry, hmm? as soon as I settle in and have enough time to take care of my baby, I'll relieve Chris of his job. Hmm? Okay. There's something else. What is it? I'll rather show you. <laughs> <laughs> coming. to apologize for snapping at you yesterday. I didn't mean to say disrespectful words to you. I'm sorry. I am not angry. If I was, I don't think you're spending nights in this house. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can go. Thank you, mom. Grace? What do you mean when you said I won't be able to regain my legs? 
Okay, fine. In cases like this, patients are to avoid anything that is going to stress the affected limbs or forcing them to use. As it is like this, all you need now is all random rest, indoor exercises and massages. At least this is going to help with the affected limbs. And you know this how? Well, uh, I came from a family of bone setters. I once worked as an auxiliary physiotherapist in my uncle's orthopedic home. I see. It's okay. You can go now, that's all. Okay, thank you. So the contract with Affin Max Group. I did that today. Really? Why? Come on, babe. I can't possibly handle the company and the contracts. But the POA documents are not ready. And even if they are, you are the boss. You could just delegate some duties to others. Why you run the contract? I don't want that. Hmm? I want to be 100% focused. Okay? And besides, I need to impress you. But I am already impressed. You don't need to do extra, my love. Hmm. <laughs> Have you heard from Uche? Ah, uh, not really. She traveled for her uncle's bearer, but she'll be back soon. Oh, oh. Uh, th that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We're not in a rush anyways. Of course. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. Do you know Chris has some expertise in physiotherapy? He told you that? Yes, he even has knowledge in injuries. Come, don't let him touch your legs, though. Look, we already have Dr. Mike handling your case, okay? It's better we stick with Dr. Mike, because I don't want some quack coming to worsen things for us. Uh-uh, how do you know he's a quack, doctor? You have a very bad mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he looks quack now. <laughs> You're not serious. Pressing it too hard. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Ah. I know it's quite painful. But no matter how gentle it is, the pain will still be there ah. until the cure heals. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. ah. Okay, you know what? Just, yeah, relax your back. Yeah, relax it. Yeah. Then try stretching the legs. Ah. Stretch it. Stretch it. Ah! Perfect, perfect. Mm. How do you feel? It feels good, but I still can't move my legs. I know. It will take some time, okay? Oh. Your case is quite hopeful, you know. When oh. was the accident? Two months and uh, two weeks now. Oh. <sighs> I guess you've not been seeing a good. I'm sorry for prognosing. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just say what you have in mind. In cases like this, I think you need a mental therapist. Because incapacitation caused by the injury, patient tends to fall into depression. Sorry, ma'am. I'm not saying Don't you. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Okay, since there is no therapist, in absence of no therapist, I think game that goes for mental stimulation works. Games? Yeah, sure, games. What types of games? Fine. My uncle do tell me games like um, Ludo, Chess, mm -hmm. and Scrabble. Scrabble works perfectly well mm -hmm. in cases like this. Sure. I see. It seems you know a lot about bone healing. Not really. I'm still learning. Okay, fine. Mom, permit me to go get your midday drugs. Okay. Yeah. Let me go get them. Of course. Okay. Hey, honey. Hey, baby. <laughs> uh, 
How are you? Fine. How was your day? Ah, it was good. Mm. How was yours? Mine was okay. It was less frustrating. Mm. I like the sound of that. Okay. Here, guess what? What's that? I got you your scrabble and chessboard like you requested. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, thank you baby. Thank you so much. Even though I am unsure of what you need them for. Ah, uh, actually my new therapist recommended them for me. You engaged the therapist? Uh, no, not really. Chris actually recommended them. Remember I told you he's good at them, physiotherapy and bullying? Oh, oh. Yes. Well, I hope you're right because if you ask me, I will prefer we engage the services of a real professional because I want you to always be in good hands, okay? I know you care a lot about my health, but trust me, Chris is really doing a great job. I mean, I can see some changes, so... Okay, if you say so. And I hope you're not going to make me play this game with you. Of course, what? Who am I playing this game with? Of course with you. No, 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 not me. Who are you going to? No, babe, don't do that. Who is playing this game with me? No, 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 come on. Whoever recommended the game should play the game, okay? Are you being serious right now? This man is tired and needs to rest. <laughs> hmm? See, I'm waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, fine. This is how the game is being played. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Every letter has a number on its own. Mm -hmm. And every number is used to calculate your score. And every letter on this place mm -hmm. can be used to form a word. Now watch me. Look, you see, form a word. Mm. Yeah, you move either left or right, mm -hmm. downward or forward. Sorry, what do you mean downward, forward? Don't worry, when we start playing the game, you get to understand. Okay, this is quite interesting. Sure. Let's play then. All right. So, are you ready? Yes. So, this is your... Hide it. No sin. Okay. So, I'm hiding my... Ah. <laughs> I'm winning, right? You're <laughs> very, very happy. Ah, come on. That's only because you're still a beginner. Don't worry, with time you're gonna be a professional, okay? I hear you. A consolation speech for a defeated opponent. <laughs> mm. Do you play chess? Yeah, sure, I do. I play Monopoly as well. Um, I play other games too. Mm. How did you learn all of that? Oh, my uncle taught me all those things and. We use it to engage patients with those games. Mm, you're quite resourceful. That's nice. But I'm done. So you're not add more zeros. Could she be intentionally delaying it? Why would she do that? You know she was advising against it. Maybe she's intentionally stalling it. Well. Stella already gave her the go-ahead, so I see no reason why she would delay it intentionally. You never can tell. There's nothing to tell, baby. The lady is out of town, hence the delay. She'll be back by the weekend and everything will be sorted out, okay? I hope so. Because we've come too far to fail now. Mm -hmm. That's right. That reminds me, you were saying something about the caregiver. Oh, about that. It's nothing serious. Just the way he has been dedicating all his time taking care of Stella. And that one has already started feeling cozy. <laughs> I mean, no more frustrated yelling or shouting. Well, is it that a good thing? Oh, are you suspecting that there are, you know... No, no, no. Stella, no, no, no. I can bet my life. Hmm. 
Stella would never think of it, let alone do it. <laughs> Not that it bothers me, though. She can do whatever she likes as long as we get the company. Hmm, you're right. Baby, I'm going to miss you. Please, stay. You know I've got to go, baby. Hmm? <laughs> but I promise I will see you soon, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Bye, baby. <sighs> barista, barista. That's me. <laughs> Good day, man. Good day. I did not want to come back from the village, Abby. Don't oh, mind me, my dear. See, you see those village people? When they've not seen you for a very long time, they want to keep you forever. But I'm here now. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. How are your folks now? <sighs> They're good. So, how are you? Well, as you can see, I am doing just fine. Yes. I can see that your caregiver is really taking good care of you. I can see some good changes though. Mm -hmm. Chris has been very helpful. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you just testify of his usefulness? I thought you called for his sack not long ago. See, I beg, I beg. I <laughs> no get threats for you. Wala. <laughs> just leave me. So I am Wala now. <laughs> hey God, it's okay. yeah. So what's up with the POA document? <sighs> That's why I'm here, though. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. It's just that I came to plead with you for the last time. Not to go through with this. See, Stella, this doesn't sit well with me. You, you should see. see. Stop already now. You know the tire? I have told you I was in my right senses when I accepted to give him that position. So please, stop with this whole... Just get the document ready. Please. So, there's nothing I can do to change your mind? When the documents are ready, please bring them. Let me sign them. Okay? Fine. They'll be ready by tomorrow. Thank you very much. By the way, what do I offer you? Ouch! Easy, it's painful. Is it very painful? Not as painful as it used to be. I see. You're healing very fast. <laughs> All thanks to you, Chris. <laughs> Why are you smiling mischievously? It's nothing, ma'am. No, say you have you obviously have something in your mind, so say it. I never thought you could ever smile, let alone be friendly at me. <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm sorry to be rude. That was the first impression I got about you being a sadist. <laughs> I, was, I was so upset when I came at first. The way you spoke to me. And <laughs> you were rude. 
Yeah, actually, I was about leaving the house and... I am not a monster. Why would you have such impressions about me? I know you're not a bad person. But I saw you crying and lamenting about your condition. I know you were being depressed. Mm. You're so sympathetic. And that's why you decided to stay back and take care of me? That was why I recommended those games for you. That was the least I could do. Your recommendations really worked. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of positive changes. Thank you so much, Grace. I'm happy you're healing so fast. Well, I think we should have to introduce ourselves. Let's start all over again. I am Mrs. Stella Igwe Benijus. It's nice to meet you. Are you watching? Voila! <laughs> tax sale? Yes, now, tax sale! Is that even a word? Yes! How? You can check the dictionary. Tax sale is there. You're cheating. How, how can tax sale be a word? Okay, fine. Check the dictionary. If I'm correct, you're gonna take it home. It's a lie. <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Chris. How are you? Uh -huh. Thank God you are here. See, Chris is trying to cheat. Look at, is this a word? <laughs> Sadly, I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I will turn to my quarters now. Hey, we're night trying night. to run, Abby. I will still catch you, don't worry. How was your day, baby? It was okay. And how was yours? It was good. What did you buy for me? Nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. You're going back. Oh, how really? can you not buy anything from me? <laughs> I don't have to always buy something. I'm your baby, so you have to all the time. You seem to be getting along well with Chris now. What changed? What changed? Hmm. What changed? You see, I started seeing things in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Things I mean, positivities in life, life in general. Hmm. That's deep. You care to explain? You see, my dear husband, what you said the other time, you were actually right. Chris is not the enemy here. Oh. I found out that my greatest enemies was my fears, pains, sufferings that grounded my spirit. And Chris has been so helpful in this journey of recovery, and I have you to thank for that. That's quite a testimony. I'm almost jealous. <laughs> jealous? Jealous mm -hmm. about what exactly? See how you're heaping praise is on praise. <laughs> if you make me vex now, we'll suck him. Ah, that would be so good. At least we'll go back to the way we used to be. And then I'm going to be having the services of the latest company owner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, babe, um... Have you spoken to Uche recently? Yes, and by tomorrow you'll be signing the official document. Oh, that's lovely to hear. So, why would we wait for that? Do you care to give this honeyman some sweetness? Don't touch. Don't touch. <laughs> You know, when I had that fall, that spot became numb for some minutes. And then I started feeling this tingling sensation there. Alright. Relax, man. Just relax. I want to check something. Okay. Close your eyes. I'll count one, two, three. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Let's go. Are you ready? One. 
You said one to three. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Just try stretch the legs, okay? Stretch it a bit. Okay? Are you serious right now? Do you think I can do that? Sure you can. But I must warn you. It might be quite tedious or frustrating. But not to worry, okay? Just be prepared for it. Well, I'm not scared. I mean, we've been through worse situations than this. And I know with you beside me, I can scale through this. So I'm not scared. You give me too much of credit, man. No, I don't. I think I give you less than what you actually deserve. Well, thank you so much for everything. I'm grateful, really. Do you think I will ever walk again? Well, with sufficient positivity from the mind, the body can do anything. Just be positive. I believe with time, you will make use of your legs. Thank you so much. You've been so wonderful and I'm grateful for that. It's fine. So from now on, make sure you address me as Mr. Chairman as I am no longer the Remy you used to know. <laughs> <laughs> How about Mr. Honey Chairman? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Mr. Baby Chairman. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Loud Chairman. That sounds more <laughs> like it. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, in 45 days, we'll have full control of the company and every other business that is linked to it. Dear, Stella has no idea what is coming for her. No, she doesn't. But soon, she will. Mm -hmm. We will take everything, mm -hmm. every dime. She will feel exactly what my mother felt. And she will even feel more. Of course she will. <laughs> and guess what, baby? We're finally going to have that life we've always wanted. The stress-free and beautiful life. I wonder why we have to wait this long to take over. Why not immediately? Because that's what the law says, baby. In a situation where the principal party is not totally incapacitated. Although that's according to the lawyer. But not to worry. The documents are signed. We have what we need. So... There's still a cause for celebration. <laughs> so tell me. What? What do you want? I don't know. But something romantic and sweet. Mm. It's good. And plenty of your company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, how about we take a trip? Say we get away to maybe Tinapa or Obudu. Or any other beautiful place of your choosing. How about Stella? <sighs> Where will you tell her that you were going to? Come on, leave that to me. Stella doesn't care. <clears throat> Besides, she must be busy with her new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Did he just say boyfriend? <laughs> of course. Why did you say he is her boyfriend? Perfect, perfect. You can do this. Okay, let's do it. Okay, good. My, okay, just one more. Just one more. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, sorry. 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 Have the seat. Sorry. 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 But why did we stop? Let's continue now. It's exciting, but you need to have some rest. But I'm not tired yet. I know. But at least you need to rest your legs a bit. Okay? Okay, my evil doctor. You need a working support. It will help. 
so you can be able to do them yourself. No, I don't think I need a working support right now. I still want to practice more, so when I get perfect, I can surprise my husband with it. So working support is enough for me. Then get a walking stick. Wouldn't be a bad idea. At least with that one, you can be able to hide them. Mm. You studied this right. Why not make it a profession? I mean, clearly you're good at this. I know I've been training for this, but some issues came up and I just need to leave the camp. Well, I guess you wouldn't want to tell me why because that's you. Let me go get your drugs. You're such an interesting character. Permit me, ma'am. Did you say you're staying here? Yeah, it's a, it's a three day program. But I'll make sure to return on the same day that uh, we're finishing, okay? Three days. A whole three days. It's too much now. Is it necessary you go? Of course it's necessary. Look, I'll be taking over your company soon. I need to be prepared for this. Okay? This management course is to make sure that I'm well equipped for the tax ahead. Okay? I know, but I'm going to miss you so much. And I'll miss you too. Alright? Just take good care of yourself and always get Chris to assist you whenever you need help. Hmm? And I'll get you something lovely on my way back. Don't try to bribe me, Joe. It's your presence I need, not a gift. And you will have all of me very soon, I promise, okay? Hmm? I'll remind Chris to take good care of himself. You don't need to remind him because he's doing his work diligently. I see. Anyways, I'll still remind him. Always for me. I will. For sure. So I'll see you, right? Love you. Chris!
see you doing good. You're good to go. Yes, yes. I mean, who would have thought I would be able to use my leg again? All thanks to you. Thank you so much. You need some rest now, ma'am. Okay. Careful. Mm -hmm. Why are you always quiet? I mean, each time I ask you a question, you just dismiss it with a smile. That's because I have nothing much to say. Hmm. You have nothing much to say or you're trying to maintain the boss-employee relationship. You see? The same smile. Look, Chris. You've helped me in ways that I can't imagine. You're not just an employee for me. You're a friend. I mean, none of my close friends can do what you have done for me. And I'm grateful. So please, I consider you as a friend now, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Your words are kind. I'm only just doing my job. Mm, you're just doing your job. Has it always been like this in other workplaces you've been to? Or my case is different? I mean, why do you put so much effort? I'm only employed as a caregiver. And to take good care of you. For the pay. Mm. Okay, if you say so, can we continue our practice now? Okay, sure. I am so sorry for coming to your room like this. Just that it's been so boring since my husband left. So. Oh, well, you can make it cold. I just need, I just need some time with you. Okay, just quiet time alone with you. It's fine. Why is it so difficult to talk about yourself? Each time I ask you questions, you just dismiss it with a smile. Why? That's because there's nothing interesting about me. Then make it interesting. I want to know everything about you. So what do you want to know about me? Every details. <laughs> yes, please. I have missed you so much. You told me it was only going to take four days. And it's the sixth day already. I know, I know it is not your fault. That is why I am saying you should take the next available flight and get down here already. Yes, uh -huh, that reminds me. Don't forget the promise you made, though. You won't come and start telling me stories, else I'll send you back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, no. You know I can't do that. Not when I miss you so much. All right, baby. I'll be expecting you soon. All right. Safe travels. Love you. Grace. How can someone be so naive in this present time and age? Look how she's acting all loving Dory, without even having a clue. Well, that's what you get when an experienced playboy toys with your brain. Come on, give me my flowers. So you're a, you're no, a playboy? No, 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 come on. Is that what you're doing to me? <laughs> oh, baby, why would you say that? You know how much I love you. You know you're my everything. Hmm? <laughs> you're so generous with your comforting words. And you're the best at giving my heart peace. I just want to cry right now. Oh, please don't <laughs> cry to nowhere to your beauty. Come mm. here. Come here. That was my husband. He's coming back today. And please remember, you cannot tell him I now have the ability to use my legs. I want to surprise him and Irene. That's not a problem, huh? Um, please have a seat. I want to talk to you. Alright. Yeah. This yeah. Good. Okay. Yes.
You see, Chris, you came into my life when I least expected. And the past few months has been really hectic, but you've been like my messiah. I doubted if I could ever use my legs again. But all thanks to you, I just want to appreciate your effort despite everything I did to you. I was harsh, I was rude, but yet you decided to stay back and help me. Thank you so much. I am entirely grateful. And that is why for your selfless services. This is a token of my appreciation for everything. I just sent you 300,000 naira as a token of my gratitude. But oh man, this is too much. This is too much. You wouldn't have... If you say no, I'll be very sad. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate your kind. You see, I um, I understand the circumstances surrounding your bed. I need you to stop blaming yourself for everything. It is not your fault that your father defiled your mother. You need to let go of that pain. It's really affecting you. This should not determine what you will become in future or what you want to be. The pains, the hurt and everything. Move on and see life as it is. Okay? It's affecting you. You're a young man. I mean, you can do anything. Please. Please. I appreciate you, ma'am. It's your kind and sweet words. Though it's touching, but I want to say thank you very much. You see, you're the strongest person I have met in my entire life. I mean, you 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 have a lot of pains inside of you, but yet you treat everyone with respect, you go on with your life, you, you do things that that surprised me, like, like though nothing bothers you. It's beautiful. Sure. I think it's time for me to go get your midday medications. Yes, I hope you like it, my love. Of course I do. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, baby. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, now my heart is at peace knowing fully well that I've fulfilled the promise I made to her royal sweetness. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm still not forgiving you for spending extra two days. Come on, baby. Huh? It wasn't my fault. It was the organizer's fault and I had no choice. It still doesn't absorb you for spending extra two days and mm. you must pay for it. Do you know how much I've missed you? <laughs> okay, so tell me, how do I pay? Take me to bed and I'll show you how to pay. Mm -mm. I don't trust you, tell me here. Do you want to be forgiven or not? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Now take me to bed. Mm -hmm. 
Ma, is Madame Irene your sister? Yes, she's my stepsister. Her mother was married to my father as a first wife. And then something happened along the line, so she left with Irene. I reconnected with her six years ago. She's your older sister then? Yes, she is. I see. Wait, why are you asking about her? Are you interested in her? Ah, no. <laughs> I was only asking. <laughs> mm. I know what you're trying to do, so because I asked you about yourself, now you want to know about me. It's okay. Keep the questions coming. Oh. I'm sorry. You have other siblings? No, just Irene and myself. Our parent died years back, so. Oh, so sorry about your parent demise. It's okay. It happened a long time ago. How about Barisa Uche? She seems to be your best friend. I guess you trust her so much. I trust her with my entire life. Uche was my first sibling and um, she's been my childhood friend, so... Wait, why are you asking me about these ladies? Do you have interest in any of them? You said I could ask you any question, so that's what I'm asking. <laughs> Okay, I wonder what your next question will be. <laughs> Ouch, can you touch that piece? Okay, sure. Gosh, this is happening again. Stella, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is your husband right here with you. Why are you fantasizing about another man? You have to stop this. You are a married woman for crying out loud. And Chris is not your husband. Remy is and you have no business thinking about another man. This must stop already. Something very important I need to discuss with you. What is it? The fact that you waited for me out here shows there is a secret. What is it? That's why I'm telling you this because it seems Madame Stella trusts you so much and you're the only one who can help her in this situation right now. What is it? You're sounding so scary. Oh God. Oga and Madame Irene having an affair. What? We, you, look, if, if this is a joke, you, you better stop it. Why will I be joking with this kind of thing? I'm saying the truth. So, how did you come about this? I saw them kissing at the gate. Yes, the night Oga came back from travel. And it was Madame Irene who drove him home. <laughs> are you are you saying Stella's husband and Irene, her sister, having an affair? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> okay. And there's something very important I need to discuss with you again. What is it? I overheard. Oga Remy discussing on the phone with Madame Irene about plotting, like, 
document or so saying different things about Madame Stella. I don't I don't know, but saying she's a crippled lady, she doesn't do anything that, and like I knew it. I knew something was up. But I hope you haven't told Stella yet. No, not at all. If I tell her this thing is going to hurt her, that's why I'm confiding in you. That's good. I can see you care about her so much. Just continue taking care of her while we sort things out. Please, we need to do something very fast. Before... Don't, don't worry. I will. I will. Okay, Just, okay. She's so lucky to have you. I will get back to you. Okay, okay. Please. okay. Thank you. Take care of her. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. I can't wait for them to see the surprise. Now I can use my two legs. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. as much as you want. Look, she needs you. You need to go to her right now. Please. We okay. can't take chances. That's fine. Hmm? I just missed you, huh? Yeah. I'll be Usual of her. Just ask her to come upstairs, please. Okay. <laughs> yes, come in. Yes. Something happened to your husband. Talk to me now. What happened? He happened the other night when he got back from travel. I saw them kissing at the gate side. I was just only waiting for the right time to tell you. two people I call family do this to me? Why will they betray me this way? I have been a loving, supportive and caring wife to Remy. 
Yet he did this to me. And Irene, all I did was to love her as a sister's child. Why? It's not all about what you did wrong, all right? People do whatever they want to do. It's not your fault. You're one of the best persons I've ever met. You're one of the best wife every man could ever pray for. Please don't put this on yourself. And I'll suggest you don't let them know about this until you tell Barista Uche. Oh God, why will Remy do this to me? Why will he betray me in such manner? Is it a crime to love? God. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Sorry. You need to be strong now. This is not the time for you to show weakness. So you can fight wherever this is, okay? I'm sorry, Chris. I shouldn't have let what happened the other day happen, but I just, it's I just right, couldn't. Mom. I know you're affected by what happened last night, but it's okay. I'm guilty as well. So let's not dwell in the past. I am as guilty as they are. How do you mean? I tempered with my marital vows. The only difference is that they cheated physically and mine was emotional. You're confusing me right now, ma'am. I'm in love with a man that is not my husband. I have found solace in a man that is not my husband. He makes me feel so beautiful. I don't know what to do. I am so confused right now. You're being affected by what happened last night. I think it's best to... Chris! Whatever happened last night was not an impulsive act. It was intentional. How do you mean? I'm in love with you, Chris. Huh? I know. How? When? What? Why will you think of such? I know. I am sorry, but I just cannot control myself anymore. Ma, please, can you stop talking, please? No, Chris, no, please. I am sorry, but... Chris, please!
I'll be leaving by weekend. And I can see you're regaining the use of your legs. I'm not sure you'll be needing the service of a caregiver anymore. I'll tell Mr. Remy when he comes back. Mom, can you hear me? I heard you, Chris. I heard that you want to leave me to fight my shit alone. That's fine. I'm not going to stop you if you want to leave. Thank you, ma'am. Chris, wait. But why do you have to go? Why do you have to leave me now that I need your love, support and encouragement the most? I'm not trying to leave you. Let me break this down for you. Two months after the accident, I lost all hope. But you came into my life and brought back every hope. You taught me to be strong. And now you just want to walk out of me? I'm not trying to leave you. I... Now let me break this down for you. Exactly two months after the accident, I lost all hope. But you came into my life and brought back every hope. You encouraged me. You taught me to be strong. And now you just want to leave me? Please, can you stop talking, ma? I didn't choose to fall in love with you. I didn't even think I could love another man the way I love Remy. But then, I still fell in love with you. I've learned to depend on the love, comfort and support you bring to me. Now you want to leave me in the same hands of those that you've been protecting me from? Fine, Chris. If you want to leave, you can go. I am not going to stop you. You don't understand. Stella, you really don't understand. I'm not leaving you because of the way you feel for me. I'm only leaving you because of how I feel for you. I've always loved you, Stella which at least expected you falling in love with me. We are not of the same level, you know that. This isn't right. Please, please, do not leave me all by myself. I cannot do this alone. Please. This isn't right, you know that. I can't find myself falling in love with another man's wife. Please, I'm sorry. If you don't fight this battle with me, then I won't fight. And then I'm going to give them whatever they want. And if they kill me, my blood is going to be on your hands. I swear to God. Chris, Chris, please, please don't go, please. So, how's the food? Just really delicious, right? Mm. It's okay. It's manageable. Manageable? 
So you mean after all the efforts I put into preparing this food, all you can say to me is manageable? You're not nice. What were you expecting? You wanted me to wait you same as check with that person. <laughs> Baby, you're just stingy with compliments. You know what you deserve. That's about the best smile I've seen on your face in a while. Care to share? <clears throat> um, yes. We've actually been invited to submit a quotation for the World Bank project. That's superb. Should we start celebrating? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that, baby. <laughs> I am so sorry. I wanted to tell you, but I wanted it to be a surprise. How long now? Just a few weeks. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Thank you so much, sis. Well, I'm sure this has been going on for so long now. Yeah, I suspected that. And that was why I brought in the 45 days condition in the power of attorney documents. Really? You mean that is not legally stipulated by law? And you made me believe it. <clears throat> well, with the way he was pressuring to take over, I knew something was wrong. That was why I brought in the claw. I was just praying for a miracle to happen to show his true intention. And yes, a miracle happened. Thank you so much, sis. I can't believe it. Even when you warned me, I turned in blind eyes. Thank you so much for protecting me. Well, I'm glad it didn't come too late. But we're still in a jam. We don't know their exact plans or what they're up to at the moment to counter them. And there's no way to find out. Um, how about the evidence we have? Can't we use that in the court of law? We can only file for a divorce for infidelity. But still, we need concrete evidence for that. So now we're stuck. I want to ask, are WhatsApp messages or recorded notes used in court? Yes, only if they're obtained legally. Mm, I see. That means they might be filing a case against us through the media. But I can find someone who can get them. You know, I'm guessing that won't be obtained legally. Well, not really, but... Stella, what was that back day? I saw the way you were looking at Chris. You couldn't even focus on the discussion on ground. What's happening, I don't know. If... See, you see, whatever you want to do in this case, Make sure you prioritize our divorce as soon as possible. This marriage is the one stopping me from finding my true happiness. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, I'm in love with Chris. And he's in love with me as well. The only thing holding us back is this deceit I mistook for marriage. So I want this to be dissolved as soon as possible. Look, Stella, I don't understand you anymore. Are you trying to tell me you and Chris have been... No, we haven't. We have not done anything yet. The only thing that is stopping us now is this marriage. And I want this to be dissolved as soon as possible. <sighs> Stella, I hope you're not letting the hurt you feel push you into making drastic mistakes. Look, you're not yet out from the one you made. <sighs> you said, this is very clear. Chris is the man for me, and that is it. Are you going? I'm, I'm going. I know. You have to see yourself off to the kids. I know. You're going. <laughs> All right. Bye. Please prioritize this, so. Since you said you have a surprise for me, you know I love surprises. And I get impatient when they're mentioned. So spill. 
Relaxes. The surprise is on its way. But before then, I need you and my lovely husband here to listen to something. What is it? Did you release a song? <laughs> What sort of rubbish is this? Are you? There are other evidences of voice recording. Chats. Where do both of you plan to kill me and take everything I have? <sighs> Remy, I have been a loving and faithful wife. What have I not done in this marriage for it to work? I even plan on handing over everything, my company, just for you to be happy. Why? And you, my dear sister, you didn't even know I was in existence until I reached out to you. I picked you, brushed you up, and set you up financially. What have I not done just for you to be happy? Why would you want to kill me? Why? Look, babe, this must be a misunderstanding, okay? No, it is not a misunderstanding, Remy. And since it has gotten to this, let's iron this once and for all. I bet your deceptive and heartless father did not tell you what he did to my mother and how he acquired all that he had. Everything that you now own and claimed was built on my mother's sweat and blood. And when the devil of your father saw all that she had achieved, he took everything and pushed her out in the cold. Broken, empty, hopeless, and depressed. And my mother became mad. Yes, she was mad. She was roaming around the street like a mad woman. And I tag along in that debt. <laughs> Eventually, my mother died in pain. Sorry, agony, penury, wretchedness, and alone, all because she trusted and loved a man who deceived her. <laughs> I 
And yes, you were right. All this started six years ago, the moment I met you. And I swore my mother's grave that I was going to avenge everything your father did to my mother. And this, <laughs> this is the fulfillment of that promise. Look, enough, okay? No, Remy. This is between I and my sister, so stay out of it. So, killing me was going to right the wrong you claimed my father did to your mother. For goodness sake, why didn't you come to me? You should have spoken to me about it so I can ease the pains in your heart. Jesus Christ. So for five years, five years of my marriage has been lies? Exactly. The same way my mother did with your father. You have to feel the pain that she felt so that you can have a story to tell the Satan of your father when you meet him in hell. And now that you've known about all this, I am afraid the end has come for you. And everything ends here and right no, now. No, 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 no. So you can... Oh yes, I can walk with my two legs. Oh, I told you I have a lot of surprises and this is the last one. Officers! Officers! I hope you've gotten all the evidence you need. More than enough, madam. I'm Officer John Phillips. Mr. Remy Jews. And Miss Irene John, you are both under arrest for attempted murder and fraud. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. So move. Arrest her. Office. Move it, man. Move it. Stella. Stella. They are definitely going to stay there for a very long time. But I just feel so bad for Irene. I just wish there was a way I could help her out or something. Well, you did all you could. Only God can save her. So why be bothered about it? Yes, I know. But I can't help but wonder. Did my dad really do that? I guess I will never find out. <clears throat> so what's your plan now? Do you still want to leave? Chris. You have saved me in so many ways. You have saved me from what would have been my end. If you leave, it's really going to hurt me a lot. But I know I can survive. But trust me, if you decide to walk out of my life today, I am not going to hold it against you, but I'm going to give you my best wishes. Since I found out who I really am, life has been so uninteresting for me. Sleep, eat, wake up, so boring, until you came into my life. <sighs> Since you want me, I will be here for you. So you're not leaving? No. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much. I mean, you've saved me from another hurt. Thank you. Come on, I should be the one thanking you. Man, you've given my life a new meaning. A hope, love, peace, and joy. Thank you so much, man. Can you stop calling me ma? <laughs> I am not longer your boss. Neither are you an employee. So please quit with the ma of a thing. Okay, ma. <laughs> You're very stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you do me something? Can you do me a favor? Okay. Since your marriage is not legally dissolved with your husband, can we maintain sacredness? Yeah, sure. Come here. <laughs> so finally, I am free from the bondage of marriage. God. <laughs> So now I'm free to do whatever I want to do with you. However I want it. Wait, 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 wait. What? What Hold. is it? Don't move. What now? You're getting me scared. Close your eyes. I want to remove something from your eyes. Just wait. Okay. You're very naughty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like it? Yeah, please get us a bottle of wine. We need to celebrate this. <laughs> You're right. Come in. Celebration. Ooh. Have this. Thank you. Okay. You're looking good, you know. All oh, thanks Always to you. Always looking good. <laughs> Thank you. With some lovely smile. Oh God, you compliment me too much. <laughs> Ooh. Ladies first. Okay. Or should I do first? No. Lady first. Why ladies first? Because I'm a lady. Let me perform myself. No, perform first. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, what are we chasing to? Chess to us and a beautiful game. 